Sorry. Hey! Welcome to Demolition Ranch. So, some of you guys who are new, I wouldn't even say new, um, you won't know this guy. Um, they haven't seen you. Like, you left, like, over a million subscribers ago. And so, there's over a million people who may have not gone back in the archives and may have never seen your face. They might think you're brand new and really, he used to be on all the time. Let me, I'm just going to say one thing over here. I didn't want him on. He would just, he lives in the woods and he would follow me. And he, every time I went shooting, he would follow me out there. It was great having him out there, you know, help me do the videos and stuff, but he's just been gone for a while. So, everyone, meet Cooter. Creepy Cooter. He, go, he goes by Creepy Cooter. I... Never, I don't want to say it to his face, so it's, it's a little bit rude. Um, but this is Coot. Uh, he, he used to have his own merchandise. Um, it's not, not something I would personally wear, but, uh, you know, to each his own. Um, for those who did not watch the channel back in the old days, you won't know that, that Coot and I had... Um, we had our ups and downs. Um, can I, can I show him your tap? This will, this is kind of going to explain it. So, he, he first, you loved me. I mean, let's be honest. Like, maybe not in like that kind of way, but like, he, he loved me. Um, he got a tattoo that said Matt's best friend with a heart above it. Um, I didn't, I didn't really. It was weird. It was uncomfortable when you got that tattoo. I'll be honest. Um, then we went through a bit of a falling out. Uh, so he actually got an X tattooed through that, and he got another tattoo, um, Matt's Worst Nightmare. Uh, there was a time when you tried to kill me for several months, um, and, and the feeling was mutual. Uh, I was kind of doing the same thing, but we, we got through it. We settled our differences, um, so he actually got that tattoo, uh, tattooed over with an X as well, and then he got this one, which, which pretty much sums up where we're at now um and we decided for a while to just go our own ways and do our own thing um but but i i needed i needed you today just not not just for the vi just purely for videos i need someone to hold the shield let me show you the shield this is the hardcore defense alpha shield so what you'll notice is it has a nice little handle back here with a pad on it. Also has another pad right here for your elbow. Has a cutout right here for your gun. <laughs> so if you hear a bump in the night, you pick up your shield, you pick up your gun, and you can go through and clear your house. And you're protected. This is made out of metal. So this is actually not AR-500 steel, which most shields and body armor are made out of. Uh, it apparently is harder than AR-500 steel with the same ductility as AR-500 steel. And so once things start getting harder, they usually get more brittle. This thing is just as brittle or just as not brittle as AR-500, but it's harder. And so they can make it actually thinner. So most people, when you think of armor, you think of traditional wearing a vest, body armor, goes around here and uh, it can be soft. They can make it out of steel as well. Um, and so there's a lot of pros and cons to both ways, I think. Let's explore that. So one huge pro of this shield is it's actually huge. Like, it covers a giant part of my body. Whereas worn body armor goes from about right here to right here and here and here. Like, covers your heart, your lungs, not even the outside of your lungs, just like the inside of your heart and lungs. A little bit of your liver, that's pretty much it. This thing has about double the area that it covers. So, I mean, it pretty much covers my entire torso and uh, plus actually a little bit down in my hip. So it's it's big. Another pro is it's movable, it's not static. So like, if I'm walking through and all of a sudden someone starts shooting at me, I can duck behind this thing, totally covering my head or I can squat down on the ground and cover most of my body with this, uh, legs included. You can't do that with body armor. One pro to worn body armor is it's always on you though. You don't have to think about it. Like you put it on and it's there. 
you don't have to be like, got to put it in front of me and got to hold it. And you also have both arms to use too. Whereas this, you kind of lose one arm. Not really, I guess, because you, I mean, you still can hit with this. You still can swing this thing and you could definitely kill somebody if you swung this at them. Uh, you can throw it. You can also just drop it at any time and not use it. But, you know, you do have to kind of think about your losing one arm to being your shield arm. So this is actually a level three A, N-I-J. So level 3A means it stops up to a 44 Magnum. So this will stop all your normal pistol rounds, 9 millimeter, 40, 45, up to a 44 Magnum, which is pretty impressive. And not many threats, I wouldn't think, are gonna be bigger than that, especially in a home invasion. People are gonna bust in with a 9 millimeter, with a 38 special, with a 45 maybe. This thing will stop all of those. Well, it should, but maybe we should find out. And that, is why I called Cooter. Hopefully I don't regret calling him, but I needed someone to hold the shield and Meredith wouldn't do it. Now that Coot's holding it, you can see that like it blocks a huge part of his body. I mean, from collarbone to mid hip probably is totally protected. That's pretty good. Uh, by the way, before we get started, if you're interested in getting this awesome hat, or this awesome shirt. It says if you don't know what this is, you're an amateur and we can't be friends. And it has a picture of a muzzle brake because like a lot of people don't know what that is. I don't know, I, I think it's kind of funny. But anyway, we have a special going on our website, link in the description, and you can get uh, the combo, the hat and the shirt together for a little discount. So this is a 22 long rifle. This is my Henry, uh, I think it's called an AR-7 survival rifle. 22 long rifle. This thing should have no problem stopping that, but you know what? I want to start at the beginning and just make sure. Nary a scratch. We have a nine millimeter, and this is a little plus P round. Out of my CZ Scorpion, this is not the coolest looking gun you've ever seen. Uh, this plate, this armor, this shield should have no problem stopping this little guy. A dent, but it is slight. 45 ACP, so you can see this big bullet. It is a full metal jacket, so it will have the best chance of making it all the way through. It's not going to splatter as much as a hollow point would. Um, this thing still should stop it with no problem. A comparable dent to the 9mm. I have something else up my sleeve. Let's step it up. You saw this gun earlier, so you knew it was coming. This is the FN57. Shoots the 5.7 by 28. This round is crazy. It's a tiny little, super fast moving bullet. And I know I say this every time, but I think it's really interesting. The gun and the ammo, um, they considered banning them because they're so good at penetrating body armor. And a normal body armor vest that can stop nine millimeter can't stop this. So there's a really good chance it will go through this. This plate is not rated to stop a 5.7. Um, I, I think it'll go through. This thing is, it's so fast. We'll find out. Would you looky there. A dent similar to the 45 and the nine millimeter. Very impressive. I know what you're thinking. Matt, is that like a elephant gun or something? <laughs> no, it's a 22. This is a, a 22 Hornet. So it's called the Raging Hornet. Um, I only bought this gun because I thought it looked ridiculously awesome. I don't even think they make it anymore because it didn't sell very good because it shoots a 22 Hornet, which is a weird, tiny little caliber, but it's it's more powerful than a 22 Magnum, um, has a larger case. Same. Everything's doing the exact... Well, it's zoomed in. Hello, that's better. Everything's doing the same. Let's go big. Everyone's heard of a 44 Magnum because it's one of the most powerful handguns in the world. This thing says it can stop it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. That was an all copper bullet, and I picked it because it goes really fast, and I wanted to try to beat this. And so it looks a lot different from where all these lead bullets hit. So the lead hit and splatters. This copper hit right here, and there's really no splatter. It just went thunk. And that was it. 
but stopped it. I mean, there's a good dent there. Okay, we officially are about to move out of the realm of things this thing says it can stop. You know what makes a 44 Magnum look really cute? A 50 cal Desert Eagle. <laughs> uh, I kind of think it's gonna stop it. I know it's not rated to, but I kind of think it will stop the 50. Jeez! <laughs> One ounce, high brass, shotgun slug. Even though it has tons of power, the chance of stopping is actually increased because the shotgun slug is so big around. But it's definitely gonna hit harder than anything has hit so far. Jeez. You can see right there where it even bent out that foam on the back of it. Hit really hard, but stopped it 100%. You guys know how these kind of tests go. Like I just shoot until something makes it through it. And then the test is over because we know that everything that's bigger than whatever made it through it is also gonna make it through it. So there's no reason. And so like I was like, I mean, I've got the 5.7, I've got the 22 Hornet, I got a 12 gauge shotgun slug. I won't actually get to this gun. I'm just gonna take it along just in case, but don't worry, Matt, you're not gonna actually have to shoot it. This is the 500 Magnum. Um, it's 100% it's my least favorite gun. Um, you know what? It's, it actually may be the only gun I have that I do not like. I like all the others, but this thing, is no fun. It hurts. Every time I pull the trigger, I flinch because I know it's it's gonna hurt me. So, uh, let's, let's see, uh, place your bets. Wait, are you good there? Can you see? You see old coot over there? Yeah, looks good to me. Place your bets. I, I think this one's gonna go through. I know I've said that before, but uh, I just have a feeling that this is gonna go straight through that arm. Jeez! Coot, you okay? Yeah. hate this gun. So you can see a tiny little crack down there. Huge dent. Look at that, it knocked the paint off the backside. Look at that crack, you can see light coming through there. But, didn't hurt him. Like, the shirt's not even ripped underneath it. Crazy, that was as close as we can come to making it through it without actually going through it. Whew, coot, good job, buddy. Next up is a caliber that there's no way that thing will stop it. This is a 4570 government. But before that, I do wanna thank our channel sponsor, Audible. So I've used Audible for a really long time. Um, you guys know that. And if you've never used them, I would urge you to give them a shot. So uh, basically, Audible has the biggest audiobook library on the internet. It is unmatched, so many books, and they read them to you. Right now I'm listening to one called The 12 Rules to Life by Jordan Peterson. Um, very interesting. He is a psychologist and he kind of delves into um, uh, emotional traits and um, like how this person is different from this person, why this person is different from this person. Kind of opens your eyes to a lot of things you did not think about um, on the psychological side of things. And the best part about it is you guys can go to audible.com slash demo ranch right here and you get a free 30-day trial. You can download this book or any other book. Um, you also, it's even easier if you just want to text. You can text Demo Ranch, D-E-M-O-R-A-N-C-H, to 500-500, or go to audible.com slash Demo Ranch. All that information is in the description below. I appreciate it because it helps us out on the channel, and it will help you. It's a great service, and it will benefit you in your daily life. So, 4570 government. This is my Henry, 4570 government. For those who do not know, the 4570 is a giant round. It's huge. This round has been used a lot to hunt elephants. Now I do not condone the hunting of elephants. I'm just stating that so you get an appreciation of how powerful this is. Lots of elephants have been shot and killed with 4570. This round, it's serious. It means business. This bullet will go clean through that shield. There's no doubt in my mind. There's just absolutely no way it'll stop. But there's only one way to really know what will happen. Cooter? Hi. You okay? No way. <laughs> huh. Well, that's something. Jeez. 
So, big dent, no hole. I have an idea. Matt, that's the same gun you just shot. Yeah, I know. But this won't be the same. This is a 4570 Extreme Penetrator bullet. I like the sound of that. <laughs> you know, know what I mean? Because, like, shooting targets and stuff. Uh, it's all brass. It has an interesting design. Uh, and it is going super fast. Fire will come out of this gun. And you might think, well, that's that doesn't look that impressive until you see how big the bullet actually is. So that is how big it is. It is giant, goes way down in this case, and this thing is moving. Uh, 100%, I know this is like the third time I've said this, but 100% this is going through, and yeah, it won't stop it. Coot, get ready, buddy. This one's gonna hurt. Yeah, that went through. You okay? You good? You good, bro? Okay, you might need a little, might need a little surgery there. And then, um, I think you're, I, I think you're fine, bro. It's, it's just a, it's a little flesh wound. <laughs> Shit, that's, it's not that bad. So, as long as no one comes into your house with a 4570 loaded with extreme penetrators, you should be fine. I mean, unless they bring that. I mean, maybe after watching this video, the bad guys are gonna start carrying that loaded with extreme penetrators, but assuming they're not, this might be a, a good option. I think shields are cool, especially because it held up way better than I thought it was going to. It held up better than it's rated to hold up to. So anyway, maybe I'll start carrying a shield a little more. What do you think, Coop? Hey, Coop, what are you doing? Taking a nap or? Hello? He must just be taking a nap. He's so cute when he gets all sleepy. You worked hard today, buddy, so you sleep as long as you want. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby!